Hermes, Greek, Hermes is the god of trade, heraldry, merchants, commerce, roads, sports, travelers, and athletes in ancient Greek religion and mythology, the son of Zeus and the Pleiad Maya, he was the second youngest of the Olympian gods Dionysus being the youngest. Hermes was the emissary and messenger of the gods. Hermes was also the divine trickster and the god of boundaries and the transgression of boundaries the patron of herdsmen, thieves, graves, and heralds." He is described as moving freely between the worlds of the mortal and divine, and was the conductor of souls into the afterlife. He was also viewed as the protector and patron of roads and travelers. In some myths, he is a trickster and outwits other gods for his own satisfaction or for the sake of humankind. His attributes and symbols include the herma, the rooster, the tortoise, satchel or pouch, winged sandals, and winged cap. His main symbol is the Greek karikion or Latin caduceus, which appears in a form of two snakes wrapped around a winged staff with carvings of the other gods. In the Roman adaptation of the Greek pantheon, see Interpretatio Romana, Hermes is identified with the Roman god Mercury, who, though inherited from the Etruscans, developed many similar characteristics, such as being the patron of commerce. Topic: <inaudible> <inaudible> Etymology and origins. The earliest form of the name Hermes is the Mycenaean Greek asterisk Hermahas, written ema a tu e ha in the Linear B syllabic script. Most scholars derive Hermes from Greek erma herma, prop, heap of stones, boundary marker, from which the word Hermi, boundary markers dedicated to Hermes as a god of travelers, also derives. The etymology of erma itself is unknown, but it is probably not a Proto Indo European word. However, the stone etymology is also linked to Indo-European asterisk esser to bind, put together. Scholarly speculation that Hermes derives from a more primitive form meaning one cairn is disputed. In Greek, a lucky find is a Hermaean Hermaean. According to one theory that has received considerable scholarly acceptance, Hermes himself originated as a form of the god Pan, who has been identified as a reflex of the Proto-Indo-European pastoral god Asterisk Pei Tu Yusin, in his aspect as the god of boundary markers. Later, the epithet supplanted the original name itself and Hermes took over the roles as god of messengers, travelers, and boundaries, which had originally belonged to Pan, while Pan himself continued to be venerated by his original name in his more rustic aspect as the god of the wild in the relatively isolated mountainous region of Arcadia. In later myths, after the cult of Pan was reintroduced to Attica, Pan was said to be Hermes's son. Other origins have also been proposed. RSP Beeks rejects the connection with Herma and suggests a pre-Greek origin. Other scholars have suggested that Hermes may be a cognate of the Vedic Sarama. Mythology Early Greek sources Homer and Hesiod Homer and Hesiod portrayed Hermes as the author of skilled or deceptive acts and also as a benefactor of mortals. In the Iliad, he is called the bringer of good luck, guide and guardian, and excellent in all the tricks. He was a divine ally of the Greeks against the Trojans. However, he did protect Priam when he went to the Greek camp to retrieve the body of his son Hector and accompanied them back to Troy. He also rescued Ares from a brazen vessel where he had been imprisoned by Otis and Ephialtes. In the Odyssey, Hermes helps his great-grandson, the protagonist Odysseus, by informing him about the fate of his companions, who were turned into animals by the power of Circe. Hermes instructed Odysseus to protect himself by chewing a magic herb. He also told Calypso of Zeus' order to free Odysseus from her island to allow him to continue his journey back home. When Odysseus killed the suitors of his wife, Hermes led their souls to Hades. In the works and days, when Zeus ordered Hephaestus to create Pandora to disgrace humanity by punishing Prometheus's act of giving fire to man, every god gave her a gift, and Hermes' gifts were lies, seductive words, and a dubious character. Hermes was then instructed to take her as wife to Epimetheus. Topic: <inaudible> <inaudible> Athenian tragic playwrights. 
Aeschylus wrote in the Eumenides that Hermes helped Orestes kill Clytemnestra under a false identity and other stratagems, and also said that he was the god of searches, and those who seek things lost or stolen. In Philoctetes, Sophocles invokes Hermes when Odysseus needs to convince Philoctetes to join the Trojan War on the side of the Greeks, and in Euripides Rhesus Hermes helps Dolan spy on the Greek navy. Aesop Aesop featured him in several of his fables, as ruler of the gate of prophetic dreams, as the god of athletes, of edible roots, and of hospitality. He also said that Hermes had assigned each person his share of intelligence. <laughs> Hermes lovers Pitho, the goddess of seduction and persuasion, was said by Nonus to be the wife of Hermes. Aphrodite, the goddess of love and beauty, was wooed by Hermes. After she had rejected him, Hermes sought the help of Zeus to seduce her. Zeus, out of pity, sent his eagle to take away Aphrodite's sandal when she was bathing, and gave it to Hermes. When Aphrodite came looking for the sandal, Hermes made love to her. She bore him a son, Hermaphroditus, a Pemosine, a princess of Crete. One day while traveling, Hermes saw her and fell in love with her. He chased her, but was unable to catch her since she was swifter than him. So he strewed some newly stripped hides along the road, on which she slipped when she was returning after a while. He then made love to her. When she disclosed to her brother, Althemenes, what had happened, he took her story about the god to be an excuse, and killed her with a kick of his foot. Chion, a princess of Phocis, attracted the attention of Hermes. He used his wand to put her to sleep and slept with her. To Hermes she bore a son, Autolycus, Penelopea, an Arcadian nymph, was loved to Hermes. Their son is said to be the god Pan. She has been confused or conflated with Penelope, the wife of Odysseus. The Oreads, the nymphs of the mountains were said to mate with Hermes in the highlands, breeding more of their kind. Iphthime, a princess of Doros was loved by Hermes and bore him three satyroi, named Ferrispondos, Lycos and Pronomos. Tanagra was a nymph of for whom the gods Ares and Hermes competed in a boxing match. Hermes won and carried her off to Tanagra in Boeotia. The Homeric hymn 4 to Hermes, which tells the story of the god's birth and his subsequent theft of Apollo's sacred cattle, invokes him as the one of many shifts polytropos, blandly cunning, a robber, a cattle driver, a bringer of dreams, a watcher by night, a thief at the gates, one who was soon to show forth wonderful deeds among the deathless gods. Hermes, as an inventor of fire, is a parallel of the titan Prometheus. In addition to the lyre, Hermes was believed to have invented many types of racing and the sports of wrestling and boxing, and therefore was a patron of athletes. <laughs> Hellenistic Greek sources <laughs> Translations in 1820 Shelley translated this hymn, H. G. Evelyn White's translation, published 1914, is used on the Perseus Project. <laughs> Hellenistic Greek sources Several writers of the Hellenistic period expanded the list of Hermes's achievements. Callimachus said that Hermes disguised himself as a cyclops to scare the Oceanides and was disobedient to his mother. One of the Orphic hymns Cathonios is dedicated to Hermes, indicating that he was also a god of the underworld. Aeschylus had called him by this epithet several times. Another is the Orphic hymn to Hermes, where his association with the athletic games held as mystic in tone. Phlegon of Trails said he was invoked to ward off ghosts, and Pseudo Apollodorus reported several events involving Hermes. He participated in the Gigantomachy in defense of Olympus, was given the task of bringing baby Dionysus to be cared for by Eno and Athamas and later by nymphs of Asia, followed Hera, Athena and Aphrodite in a beauty contest, favored the young Hercules by giving him a sword when he finished his education and lent his sandals to Perseus. The Thracian princes identified him with their god Zalmoxus, considering his ancestor. Enite of Tegea of the 3rd century BC, in translation by Richard Aldington, wrote, I Hermes stand here at the crossroads by the wind-beaten orchard, near the hoary grey coast, and I keep a resting place for weary men. And the cool stainless spring gushes out, called Hermes of the Ways after the patronage of travellers. <laughs> 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 
Topic: <inaudible> Epithets of Hermes. Topic: <inaudible> <inaudible> Atlantides. Hermes was also called Atlantides Greek, Atlantides because his mother, Maya was the daughter of Atlas. Cryophoros In ancient Greek cult, Cryophoros Greek, Cryophoros or Cryophorus, the ram-bearer, is a figure that commemorates the solemn sacrifice of a ram. It becomes an epithet of Hermes, Hermes Cryophoros. Argyphontes Hermes's epithet Argyphontes Argyphontes Latin, Argicida, meaning, Argus Slayer, recalls his slaying of the hundred-eyed giant Argus Panoptes, who was watching over the heifer nymph Io in the sanctuary of Queen Hera herself in Argos. Hermes placed a charm on Argus's eyes with the caduceus to cause the giant to sleep, after this he slew the giant. Argus' eyes were then put into the tail of the peacock, a symbol of the goddess Hera. Topic. Messenger and guide The chief office of the god was as messenger. Hermes Diactoros, Angelos the messenger, is in fact only seen in this role, for Zeus, from within the pages of the Odyssey Brown 1990, O mighty messenger of the gods of the upper and lower worlds, Aeschylus, explicitly, at least in sources of classical writings, of Euripides' Electra and Iphigenia in Aulis and in Epictetus' Discourses. The messenger divine and herald of the gods, he wears the gifts from his father, the Pedasus and Talaria. And also Hodios, patron of travelers and wayfarers. Oniropompus, conductor of dreams. Poimanders, shepherd of men. Psychopompos, conveyor or conductor of souls, and psychogogue, conductor or leader of souls in or through the underworld. Topic: Trade. Agorius, of the Agora, belonging to the market Aristophanes Empileos, engaged in traffic and commerce. Hermes is sometimes depicted in art works holding a purse. <laughs> Dolios Dolios, tricky. No cult to Hermes Dolios existed in Attica, of this Athens being the capital, and so this form of Hermes seems to have existed in speech only. The god is ambiguous. According to prominent folklorist Yeliezer Melitinsky, Hermes is a deified trickster and master of thieves, a plunderer, a cattle raider, a night watching, in Homer's hymns, and deception Euripides and possibly evil tricks and trickeries, crafty from lit, god of craft, the cheat, the god of stealth, friendliest to man and cunning, see also, to act secretively as kleptine, in reference L. Wheeler, of treachery, the schemer, Hermes Dolios, was worshipped at Pauline and invoked through Odysseus. As the ways of gain are not always the ways of honesty and straightforwardness, Hermes obtains a bad character and an immoral amoral ed. cult as Dolios. Hermes is amoral like a baby. Zeus sent Hermes as a teacher to humanity to teach them knowledge of and value of justice and to improve interpersonal relationships bonding between mortals considered to have a mastery of rhetorical persuasion and special pleading the god typically has nocturnal modus operandi hermes knows the boundaries and crosses the borders of them to confuse their definition topic <laughs> thief In the Lang translation of Homer's hymn to Hermes, the god after being born is described as a robber, a captain of raiders, and a thief of the gates. According to the late Jungian psychotherapist Lopez Pedraza, everything Hermes thieves, he later sacrifices to the gods. Topic: <laughs> Patron of thieves. Autolycus received his skills as the greatest of thieves due to sacrificing to Hermes as his patron. Topic: <inaudible> Additional. Other epithets included Cathonius at the festival Athenia Chitra sacrifices are made to this visage of the god only. 
Silenius, born on Mount Collini Epimelios, guardian of flocks Koinos Cryophoros, ram bearer Plutodotes, giver of wealth as inventor of fire Prupileos, before the gate Guardian of the gate Pileos, doorkeeper Strophaeos, standing at the door post Strophius, the socket in which the pivot of the door moves Karani and Edwardson or door hinge protector of the door that is the boundary to the temple patron of gymnasia topic <inaudible> <inaudible> worship and cult prior to being known as hermes frothingham thought the god to have existed as a snake god angelo 1997 thinks hermes to be based on the thoth archetype the absorbing combining of the attributes of Hermes to Thoth developed after the time of Homer amongst Greek and Roman, Herodotus was the first to identify the Greek god with the Egyptian Hermopolis, Plutarch and Diodorus also, although Plato thought the gods to be dissimilar Freelander 1992, a cult was established in Greece in remote regions, likely making him a god of nature, farmers, and shepherds. It is also possible that since the beginning he has been a deity with shamanic attributes linked to divination, reconciliation, magic, sacrifices, and initiation and contact with other planes of existence, a role of mediator between the worlds of the visible and invisible. During the 3rd century BC, a communication between Pedosiris a priest, to King Nechopso, probably written in Alexandria c. 150 BC, states Hermes is the teacher of all secret wisdoms available to knowing by the experience of religious ecstasy. Due to his constant mobility, he was considered the god of commerce and social intercourse, the wealth brought in business, especially sudden or unexpected enrichment, travel, roads and crossroads, borders and boundary conditions or transient, the changes from the threshold, agreements and contracts, friendship, hospitality, sexual intercourse, games, data, the draw, good luck, the sacrifices and the sacrificial animals, flocks and shepherds and the fertility of land and cattle. In addition to serving as messenger to Zeus, Hermes carried the souls of the dead to Hades, and directed the dreams sent by Zeus to mortals. Temples One of the oldest places of worship for Hermes was Mount Silene in Arcadia, where the myth says that he was born. Tradition says that his first temple was built by Lycaon. From there the cult would have been taken to Athens, and then radiated to the whole of Greece, according to Smith, and his temples and statues became extremely numerous. Lucian of Samosata said he saw the temples of Hermes everywhere. In many places, temples were consecrated in conjunction with Aphrodite, as in Attica, Arcadia, Crete, Samos and in Magna Graecia. Several ex votos found in his temples revealed his role as initiator of young adulthood, among them soldiers and hunters, since war and certain forms of hunting were seen as ceremonial initiatory ordeals. This function of Hermes explains why some images in temples and other vessels show him as a teenager. As a patron of the gym and fighting, Hermes had statues in gyms and he was also worshipped in the sanctuary of the Twelve Gods in Olympia where Greeks celebrated the Olympic Games. His statue was held there on an altar dedicated to him and Apollo together. A temple within the Aventine was consecrated in 495 BC. Symbols of Hermes were the palm tree, turtle, rooster, goat, the number four, several kinds of fish and incense. Sacrifices involved honey, cakes, pigs, goats, and lambs. In the sanctuary of Hermes Promikos in Tanagra is a strawberry tree under which it was believed he had created, and in the hills Fien ran three sources that were sacred to him, because he believed that they had been bathed at birth. <laughs> Festival Hermes's feast was the special Hermaea which was celebrated with sacrifices to the god and with athletics and gymnastics, possibly having been established in the 6th century BC, but no documentation on the festival before the 4th century BC survives. However, Plato said that Socrates attended a Hermaea. Of all the festivals involving Greek games, these were the most like initiations because participation in them was restricted to young boys and excluded adults. Hermai, Herms In ancient Greece, Hermes was a phallic god of boundaries. 
His name, in the form Herma, was applied to a wayside marker pile of stones, each traveller added a stone to the pile. In the 6th century BC, Hipparchos, the son of Pisistratus, replaced the cairns that marked the midway point between each village deme at the central agora of Athens with a square or rectangular pillar of stone or bronze topped by a bust of Hermes with a beard. An erect phallus rose from the base. In the more primitive Mount Kalini or Silenian Herms, the standing stone or wooden pillar was simply a carved phallus. In Athens, Herms were placed outside houses for good luck. That a monument of this kind could be transformed into an Olympian god is astounding. Walter Burkert remarked, in 415 BC, when the Athenian fleet was about to set sail for Syracuse during the Peloponnesian War, all of the Athenian Hermai were vandalized one night. The Athenians at the time believed it was the work of saboteurs, either from Syracuse or from the anti war faction within Athens itself. Socrates' pupil Alcibiades was suspected of involvement, and Socrates indirectly paid for the impiety with his life. <laughs> Hermes's possible offspring <laughs> Pan The satyr-like Greek god of nature, shepherds and flocks, Pan, could possibly be the son of Hermes through the nymph Dryope. In the Homeric hymn to Pan, Pan's mother fled in fright from her newborn son's goat-like appearance. Priapus <inaudible> Depending on the sources consulted, the god Priapus could be understood as a son of Hermes. Autolycus Autolycus, the prince of thieves, was a son of Hermes and Chion mortal and grandfather of Odysseus. <laughs> Extended list of Hermes's lovers and children <laughs> Genealogy Art and iconography The image of Hermes evolved and varied according to Greek art and culture. During archaic Greece he was usually depicted as a mature man, bearded, dressed as a traveller, herald, or pastor. During classical and Hellenistic Greece he is usually depicted young and nude, with athleticism, as befits the god of speech and of the gymnastics, or a robe, a formula is set predominantly through the centuries. When represented as Logios Greek, Logios speaker, his attitude is consistent with the attribute. Phidias left a statue of a famous Hermes Logios and Praxiteles another, also well known, showing him with the baby Dionysus in his arms. At all times, however, through the Hellenistic periods, Roman, and throughout Western history into the present day, several of his characteristic objects are present as identification, but not always altogether. Among these objects is a wide brimmed hat, the pedazos, widely used by rural people of antiquity to protect themselves from the sun, and that in later times was adorned with a pair of small wings. Sometimes the hat is not present, and may have been replaced with wings rising from the hair. Another object is the porta, a stick, called a sceptron scepter, which is referred to as a magic wand. Some early sources say that this was the bat he received from Apollo, but others question the merits of this claim. It seems that there may have been two canes, one of a shepherd's staff, as stated in the Homeric hymn, and the other a magic wand, according to some authors. His bat also came to be called Karikion, the caduceus, in later times. Early depictions of the staff show it as a baton stick topped by a golden way that resembled the number 8, though sometimes with its top truncated and open. Later the staff had two intertwined snakes and sometimes it was crowned with a pair of wings and a ball, but the old form remained in use even when Hermes was associated with Mercury by the Romans. Hyginus explained the presence of snakes, saying that Hermes was traveling in Arcadia when he saw two snakes intertwined in battle. He put the caduceus between them and parted, and so said his staff would bring peace. The caduceus, historically, appeared with Hermes, and is documented among the Babylonians from about 3500 BC. The two snakes coiled around a stick was a symbol of the god Ningishzida, which served as a mediator between humans and the goddess Ishtar or the supreme Ningursu. 
In Greece itself the other gods have been depicted holding a caduceus, but it was mainly associated with Hermes. It was said to have the power to make people fall asleep or wake up, and also made peace between litigants, and as a visible sign of his authority, being used as a scepter, he was represented in doorways, possibly as an amulet of good fortune, or as a symbol of purification. The caduceus is not to be confused with the rod of Asclepius, the patron of medicine and son of Apollo, which bears only one snake. The rod of Asclepius was adopted by most Western doctors as a badge of their profession, but in several medical organizations of the United States, the caduceus took its place since the 18th century, although this use is declining. After the Renaissance the caduceus also appeared in the heraldic crests of several, and currently is a symbol of commerce. His sandals, called pedila by the Greeks and talaria by the Romans, were made of palm and myrtle branches but were described as beautiful, golden and immortal, made a sublime art, able to take the roads with the speed of wind. Originally, they had no wings, but late in the artistic representations, they are depicted. In certain images, the wings spring directly from the ankles. Hermes has also been depicted with a purse or a bag in his hands, wearing a robe or cloak, which had the power to confer invisibility. His weapon was a sword of gold, which killed Argos, lent to Perseus to kill Medusa. In other religions Christianity. According to Acts 14, when Paul the Apostle visited the city of Lystra, the people there mistook him for Hermes and his companion Barnabas for Zeus. <inaudible> <inaudible> Modern interpretation <inaudible> Psychology For Carl Jung Hermes's role as messenger between realms and as guide to the underworld, made him the god of the unconscious, the mediator between the conscious and unconscious parts of the mind, and the guide for inner journeys. Jung considered the gods Thoth and Hermes to be counterparts. In Jungian psychology especially, Hermes is seen as relevant to study of the phenomenon of synchronicity together with Pan and Dionysus. Hermes is the archetypal core of Jung's psyche, theories. He is identified by some with the archetype of healer, as the ancient Greeks ascribed healing magic to him. In the context of abnormal psychology, Samuels 1986 states that Jung considers Hermes the archetype for narcissistic disorder. However, he lends the disorder a positive, beneficious aspect and represents both the good and bad of narcissism. For Lopez Pedraza, Hermes is the protector of psychotherapy. For McNeely, Hermes is a god of the healing arts. According to Christopher Booker, all the roles Hermes held in ancient Greek thought all considered reveals Hermes to be a guide or observer of transition. For Jung, Hermes's role as trickster made him a guide through the psychotherapeutic process. Topic: <laughs> Hermes series essays. French philosopher Michel Serre wrote a set of essays called the Hermes series. <laughs> Hermes in popular culture See Greek mythology in popular culture, Hermes <laughs> See also Hermes Trismegistus equals equals notes